Lego fans to our first mock review, and I stand for my own creation. And today we have for you my 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 pride of mine of your season, and that is my turtle man truck. And to help you decide whether this is a good mock or not, I have my expert friend, the supervisor, is and guest star is Dan the second. And Andrew Knight's in the Andrew 30 is here as well, but he does not know a lot about Call of the Wild Man, so he's not gonna say too much, but maybe he can... Yep, I'm put here. Put I'm working on my new, um, my new video that will resemble the Entertaining the Hobbits to Isengard, but I have completely different music and events. Okay. So, um, just to give you some history on Mox, once again it stands for My Own Creation. And that's basically when you take your Lego parts and make your own things. So I decided to make the Turtle Mobile, and here is not a great picture of it, but it's something. And there's a random kid standing next to it. It's okay though; they were on TV. So, um, yeah. So I built this. Didn't take me that long, and I'm not entirely satisfied with it, but it's okay. So I'll go ahead and sh I'll probably show you most of it, and then. Um, Feanor and maybe Andrew nineteen Andrew Fairy will tell tell you what they think of it. So we'll go ahead and start off and Feanor will go ahead and show you the one and only Ernie Brown Jr., the Turtle Man. Yes, yeah, so this year this is the Turtle Man, and I mean he's a real backwards boy, you know it? So this is his hat. He caught his first turtle when he was eight years old. Amazing, isn't it? Yes. So this is his hat. Uh not quite sure what it was taken from since it's a box, so it's just whatever. Um, not sure whose head this is. Indiana Jones. Yes, Indiana Jones is what I thought at first, but wasn't positive. Yeah, it is. And then not at all sure at all where that came from, the torso. And there is some back printing as well. And he also is carrying his knife. Called Thunder. Thunder. Uh, Saved him from what? From getting his head cut off by a chainsaw. So make sure you check out that show. It's an awesome show. And you definitely need to see that. So I'm not entirely satisfied with these mini figures, but it's the best I could come up with with what I have. So this is his best friend Neil, Neil James, and he helps him in all of his uh, adventures. So he actually has a German Nazi cap. <laughs> No, we are not insinuating that Neil James is a Nazi. Neo -Nazi. He is perfectly awesome. Yes. And not at all socialist. <laughs> so I actually gave him Haggard from uh, Haggard's Hut. I gave him his head. That's Harry Potter for those of you who do not know it. Yeah. So it doesn't look great. It looks nothing like Neil. Mm -hmm. Underneath the beard. But with the beard, it looks pretty good. And didn't really matter what the torso was just because uh, by the beard, but I believe that's Indiana Jones' torso yes, there. Yes, So I'm not, ha not entirely happy with these. You can give me some advice. Tell me if I should order some minifigure parts. And if you guys like this, I'm going to make another set and I would include uh, Jake and Squirrel in that. But uh, this is not a minifigure, but this is Lolly Dog. Lolly Dog. And I'm actually pretty happy. Oh, whoa. I'm actually pretty happy with this. This is probably one of my oh, yeah. my favorite parts that I um, I think I did pretty good on. So I got the tail there, the nose, eyes, collar, and in this picture, you can see Lolly Dog right there. You guys probably can't see that very well, but that is Lolly, and that's Turtle Man's dog, who goes on most of his adventures with him. So just lastly, that's a little flat, but. You know, it's kind of hard to make Lego dogs. Yep. And some other, um, well, I'll go ahead and let uh, Fanor show you the accessories, but then I kind of want to show the actual truck, so could you kind of show everything else that's All right, so of? this is one of the creatures, one of the many creatures, that Turtle Man has captured before. Now, it is an ostrich uh, Lego thing, but... Um, emu. Yeah, it's supposed to be an emu. We don't really have an emu, and they're very similar. So I just included so that. So this is an emu, and he had some trouble capturing this. Yes, thing. it's very difficult. Along with most of his things. This is another one of the things that he has captured. It is a rat. 
He hasn't and, captured too many rats, but thought and it's it. probably also a mouse. Yeah, and probably also a bunch of other things. Yes, but that's okay because he catches a bunch of things. One of his not favorite things to catch: a snake. He's caught a ton of them. Yeah, he's and not crazy about those. But uh, the thing he hates the most is skunks. Yes, yeah, skunks he absolutely hates. I probably gonna make it like a skunk to include, but uh, haven't gotten around to that yet. Another accessory is the net that he sometimes uses. Mm -hmm. Not always. Got two and then boxes. he has two boxes to put the animals in. No, those are more for like storage. Oh, this no? is like a cage. Okay. Well, yeah, I know this is cage. You can see that he gives the animals um, holes and stuff so that way they can breathe. Because he loves his animals, yes. he would not harm one intentionally. And it's really meant for like the rat or the snake. And another thing I really ought to make is a turtle because, well, he's a turtle man. Yeah. And it does been here for a while, so it's a bit slippy. You can open it up, stick something in there, and close it back up. So, I thought it was a nice little addition. But here's the actual truck. I'm not entirely satisfied with this either. But I think it's pretty good for my first major mock. All my others aren't that great, but... Um, it looks really good, in my mind. Not crazy about this license plate here. No, um, it should say. Yeah, it should. And uh, I'm also thinking that if this would ever go... Cause I'm, I'm planning to put this on Lego Kusu sometime in the fairly near future. And I would request that they would make a printed brick that says the Turtle Man. Or a sticker, but I would much prefer printed brick. And maybe a new license plate. Because, I mean, the Back to the Future set that just came out from Lego Kusu, they oh, included yeah. all kinds of printed bricks and license plates and all that stuff. So. Yeah, that is that's a very cool set that I I, I looked it up before. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely something. It's, I mean, it's flying off the shelves. Oh, yeah. So... Uh, they've marked it already? Yeah, it's on... Oh, wow. I didn't know that part. I might want to pick that up someday, but it really went to Lord of the Rings and Hobbit. So, that's the back section. Now, here's the storage compartment. That's a sticker right there. Shows some rope. Can't remember what that's from. But I also include this little clip here. I borrowed this idea from Bag End, where there's a little clip thing where you can put Sting. So, I included that so that you can store his knife Thunder there. Like that. So it'll stay put. Then you can fit the boxes back here fairly well. Uh, might want to do it like that. The cage can't really fit in there, but the two boxes and the net can. And you can also put Lolly Dog, because Lolly Dog, you can always see her crawling around in the back during the car scenes. And most of these parts are from actually from the Lego Toy Story set with the big red train mm -hmm. but I took that part and used a lot of pieces from that um, it's more of a dull red in real life but there's not too many dull red pieces so I just kind of went with the lighter red I think it still gets the point across I even includes some windshield wipers here just some Lego remote controls or antenna whatever you want to call them there's some headlights there rolls pretty well Oops. And you can always take this off. And it does not fit the minifigures that well. It should probably make it a bit taller. But you can just kind of stick them in there. Yeah, I just sounds like she's saying Gandalf. Who, the bird? Yeah. Well, it, doesn't, it doesn't fit on there that well. I need to modify that. You can see that I've still got some work to do. That's okay because using your redneck knowledge, you'll be able to figure it out now, won't you? I'm a southern boy. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, it's a little loose, falling apart, and stuff. But overall, I think I did a pretty good job on it. What do you guys say? I think that it is a very good first mock, really. Me too. Even though I'm not sitting looking at it at all. <laughs> So, um, once again, it is the Turtle Mobile from the, ser the TV series called The Wild Man, which is on Animal Planet. So make sure you check that show out, if nothing else. And uh, feel free to put in the comments what you think of this. 
Uh, you can put some minifigure or structure suggestions on there for things like a change, things like an add, take away. But, uh, Fano, what do you think of this? Uh, you want ratings or? No, not a rating, just kind of like an overall, what, like, what do you think, what should be different, what do you like? Um, well, I like the overall idea. I think that you could make it a little bit more like his truck. I think that would be the one big thing, making the structure more full, like bringing this out so that way it's a hood and maybe bringing this out a little bit more so that way you can stick the cage in it. But overall, I think that it's a very good first real mock. Well, thank you. And uh, Andrew, anything you'd like to add? I think much. I think it's